today we'll be reviewing the Woke AF pre-workout. As always, if you would like to check out the full blog post on this product, head over to Google and search Feastgood plus Woke AF pre-workout. There you'll find the full article along with a way to save some money. Let's get straight into this review. Woked AF is the higher dosed, higher stim pre-workout to its counterpart bucked up the pre-workout I just posted last week. If you want to check out that review, that'll be down in the description box for you to check out. Woke AF has full clinical doses of citrulline and beta alanine, two ingredients known to support muscle pump and muscular endurance respectively. Woke has a few ingredients in its formula that fall short of clinical dose standards, just like bucked up. Alpha GPC, taurine, and the two patented non-ginseng ingredients, estrogen and actogen all fall below clinical dosing standards. That being said, Woke AF is meant to be a hard hitting, high stimulant formula, and it absolutely delivers. It has 333 milligrams of caffeine and hydrus and features two extra stimulants in dendrobrium and Cinefrine. The overall effect is a euphoric energy and dialed in mental focus. For reference, a 16 ounce, which is a grande Starbucks coffee, has around 310 milligrams of caffeine. This has 23 milligrams more than that. One aspect that makes Woke AF stand out in the supplement industry is its unique naming and marketing. They deliberately tend towards a more hardcore aesthetic towing the line between appropriate and inappropriate language. This trend is visible in their product names, such as Bucked Up, Woke AF, LFG, and Mother Bucker, to name a few. We also see this marketing tactic carry over to their flavor names, which include Swole Whip, Koala Freak, and Killa OJ. In total, Woke AF is available in 21 different flavors and comes in a wide variety of sweet and sour fruit and juice-like flavors. Let's now talk about my experiences while taking Woke AF. Their website describes the experience of skin tearing muscle pumps and monk-like focus from taking Woke AF. While I found the muscle pump to be decent, I wouldn't go so as far to describe my experience as skin tearing. Woke AF features one key ingredient called dendrobium, which is a plant in the orchard family that features a key benefit of elevated mood. Now, if you've been following the channel, like I mentioned, I just got off trying out the Bucked Up, the lower dose pre-workout manufactured by the same company that makes Woke AF. And I felt like it provided a euphoric-like energy even without the dendrobium added. Woke AF is a very similar formula and the added dendrobium seemed to really amplify the energy and mental focus of this pre-workout. I do wish that it was slightly lower in caffeine but that's just because I'm a caffeine junkie and I like to drink coffee and other energy drinks throughout the day. So if I'm going to be getting a lot of caffeine from one product that just limits how much I can take later on in the day. At 333 milligrams of caffeine Woke AF is nudging right up against the FDA's recommended safe upper limit of 400 milligrams daily. That just means that on the days that I do take Woke AF, I have to be very conscious on how much caffeine I'm gonna be taking on that day. So I kinda gotta plan out my caffeine. Am I gonna take this and maybe another coffee in the day or a small energy drink? or maybe half a scoop of this, and I can take a larger energy drink and maybe a few cups of coffee throughout the day. Starting with what I liked, great mood boosting energy. Woke AF features a blend of caffeine, alpha GPC, and dodrium, which work together to provide energy, boost mental focus, and increase mood. Next thing I liked was it has a great pump. For the full clinical dose of citrulline, Woke AF provides a good muscle pump. I'm a big pump guy, and I always love great products that provide this feeling. Give it a shot if you're like me that likes the pump, and I'd love to hear your experiences if you do try it or have tried it down in the comment section. Third, Good taste and mixability. Woke AF is available in more than 20 flavors like I mentioned. They offer a variety of sweet and sour fruit and juice like flavors. It mixes easily with a spoon or in a shaker cup. And I kind of compare how they do their flavors to how Ghost does their flavors. So if you do like Ghost, you'll probably like this brand as well. And on the other hand, the one thing I did not like about the product was that its high stimulant content may scare consumers away. Woke AF contains 333 milligrams of caffeine plus additional stimulants like Cinefrine and dendrobium this might be too high for less experienced pre-workout users. Now, if you've been watching my reviews, then you know what I'm about to say. Always start off and assess your tolerance by starting with quarter scoop to half a scoop, three quarters of a scoop, and then a full scoop. And I still do this 
to this day. Now let's get into how Woke AF stacks up against the rest of the pre-workouts on the channel. We've given it a three out of five on price. It can be tricky to compare the cost value of pre-workouts directly across the board since there is so much variety in the number of doses and ingredients used. Since Woke AF comes in kind of in the middle ballpark, we've given it a 3.5. We've given it a five out of five on taste. Woke AF pre-workout is available in more than 20 different juice-like or fruity flavors and a wide variety of sweet and sour options. This makes it incredibly likely that you will find a flavor that you will like. We've given it a five out of five on mixability. Woke AF mixes easily and almost completely in a traditional shaker cup. I found no issues in this category whatsoever. We've given it a five out of five on energy. Woke AF is designed to provide substantial energy and it delivers. Woke AF provides long lasting energy with a mood boosting mental focus. I did not experience side effects like jitteriness or crashing afterwards. We've given it a three out of five on pump. Woke AF provides a full clinical dose of citrulline, an ingredient commonly used for increasing nitric oxide and providing a muscle pump. With no other ingredients to complement citrulline, Woke AF provides a good pump but not as significant as other pre-workouts on the market. And lastly, we've given it a four out of five on strength. Woke AF provides a good strength boost, most notably from the increased motivation and mental focus provided by the stimulant blend. On the left hand side are the ingredients, next to that are the dosages, next to that are the clinical effective doses, and then finally checked or unchecked boxes if the pre-workout meets those standards. As you can see, alpha GPC, taurine, estrogen, and actogen do not meet clinically dosing standards. Caffeine, dendrobium, and deer antler velvet extract are the ingredients we aren't able to establish an effective dose. If you would like to learn more about each of these ingredients, what they do, and what their benefits are, make sure to check out our full blog post down below in the description box. Woke AF is for people who describe themselves as a stimulant junkie and want a product high in caffeine that delivers laser focus, experienced pre-workout users, and lastly, people whose primary desire of a pre-workout is energy, mental focus, and stamina. On the other hand, I would not recommend Woke AF for anyone who works out in the evening since three sources of stimulants are very likely to impact your sleep, individuals who are sensitive to caffeine, and people whose primary desire out of pre-workout is strength and pump. I've done a lot of research on how to get the best price for Woke AF pre-workout and any links will be down below. I try to keep the description box up to date with the most current offers or sales to the best places to find these products. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.